Okay, so today we're going to show the basic installation uh, procedures for ProPsych's new Super 2.5 EZ uh, built-in cyclorama system. Uh, this, the same procedures basically can be used for all of our built-in systems, but we're going to be demonstrating on the new 2.5. We've got here kind of a mock corner. Um, you're going to see right here is all the basic uh, tools that we're going to need. Obviously, we've got the instructions here. Uh, starting on this side, we've got a, a level, we've got a chalk line, we've got a stud finder, a couple of drift pins, a nut driver, we've got an impact driver. This is all the hardware for bolting the modules together. Uh, we've got wall screws, floor screws, we've got a carpenter square, box knife, screw gun, drill, and a circular saw for the drywall. So we're going to go ahead and show you uh, some of the basic measurements and things that um, will help make your installation a lot easier. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is measure out from the corner of the wall. We're going to measure on both walls out 40 and a quarter inches and up 24 inches and we're going to make a mark at that point. Okay, now we've got the mark. It's right here. It's out 40 and a quarter inches and up 24 inches. What we want to do is find the stud on either side of that mark. So on this wall, it's pretty obvious because it's just raw sheetrock. You can see the, the screw holes and the lines, but on most walls that will probably already be painted, you won't be able to uh, see it. So we'll just use a stud finder. And what we do is just use the stud finder to come in and basically find the find the stud on this side, which is going to be right here. And then we know it's probably going to be somewhere around 12 to 16 inches uh, this way. So we'll just start out here and move in. All right, so we know even if this wall were painted, we know that the studs on either side of this mark are right here. So we're going to do the same thing on the other wall and then we're going to run a chalk line up and then we're going to cut out the sheetrock and replace that space with a plywood furring strip, which is what we're going to end up screwing the modules into. Okay, so now we've got the, we know where the studs are, how far away from the corner they are from the wall. So we are going to uh, measure exactly how far it is away from the corner and we're going to make a mark the same distance uh, at the very top so that we can use our chalk line and snap a vertical line. We're going to do that on each of the studs, uh, so two studs on each wall that we just found. All right, now that we've got the vertical chalk lines, so we know where we're going to cut the vertical pieces out to replace with the furring strip, uh, we're going to go ahead and measure the horizontal lines also because we're going to end up putting a, a smaller furring strip horizontally. So what we're going to do is measure and put a chalk line at 24 inches and 28 inches on this wall and that wall. We're going to go ahead and then cut the vertical pieces out and then we'll be able to cut the other one. All right, now we've got all of the chalk lines um, on the walls. We're going to go ahead and Bob is going to cut out uh, the sheetrock. Now this is half inch sheetrock, so we have got the saw set to 7 sixteenths of an inch. So it's going to be just, um, just almost the full thickness of the sheetrock, but not quite. And the reason for that is if it was set too deeply and you went through the sheetrock and if you had metal studs, it would create sparks and a whole big mess. So what we do is set it just a little bit shallower than the depth of your sheetrock and um, then we're going to finish it off with a box cutter.
All right, so we have got the um, drywall cut off of the walls on both sides. This is where we're gonna put the furring strips. Uh, we've got half inch plywood that we've already cut them. What we did is we measured the horizontal piece first from the, the end of the wall to right here. We're gonna install that first. Then we're gonna put the vertical piece on, on both sides. Um, we made sure when we were cutting out, this is why we located the studs, that we left half of the, each stud exposed. So that's what we're gonna screw the furring strips into. And then also, uh, the drywall, when we cut it out, we had to re-secure this part of the drywall onto uh, the stud because we removed the screws. So this is pretty much ready. We're gonna have Bob come in and put the furring strips up. Once those are up, then we're gonna put the modules together and then we'll be installing it onto the wall. All right, so now we've got the furring strips uh, replacing the sheetrock with the half inch plywood. We've got them all screwed in and we're ready to uh, put the modules together and then bolt them onto the wall. But first we're going to go ahead and make a vertical chalk line on both sides, 40 and a quarter inches out from the corner. So we're gonna measure that out at the top, the bottom, snap a chalk line. Uh, 40 and a quarter out from the apex of the corner on both sides. Then we're gonna measure a horizontal chalk line at 26 inches above the floor and also another chalk line at 26 inches away from the floor and those lines are going to serve as a guide for when we put the modules onto the wall. We've now come over here where we've got a little more room and we're going to put the modules together. Uh, we've got the corner piece down here, we've got a four foot uh, 2.5 module to go on either side of it and then this will be finally we're going to put this on top of the corner. Now this will take about three people to do since we don't have legs in this system so nothing is self-supporting. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up, I'm going to support it here. Um, we've cut this uh, to 32 inches, it's just a nice even height to help hold that. And then we're going to get in here, we're going to join the flanges behind the modules together with the nuts and bolts and screws from the H4 hardware packet. We're going to do finger tight at first, then we're going to make sure that it's, the seam is flush before we use the uh, impact driver and nut driver to, um, to tighten them up. Okay, so we've got the first two modules um, just hand tighten, the nuts are, and bolts are all in. So now we're gonna have one person on this side as um, they're being tightened with the impact driver, um, just making sure that these seams are as flush as possible because they can move still just a little bit. Um, so we need, that's very important. It will make everything a lot easier later when you're doing the mudding and, uh, and the sanding and all of that. So this is a part of the procedure you don't wanna mess up. So get them as flush as possible as you're tightening them with the impact driver. Okay, so you've seen us uh, bring the modules that are all put together and now we're ready to put it on the wall. So this takes as many people as you have available. So we've got three uh, and if your wall, especially if your wall maybe has another module higher, if you've got some on the ends, um, what we're gonna do is kind of position in the corner. We're gonna use the chalk lines as a guide uh, for where we want the edge of the modules. The vertical right here uh, at 40 and a quarter and the horizontal one at 26 inches. Uh, up the wall and 26 inches out um, to the floor. If they're not exact, just get them as close as you can, but that's just a really good guide. Um, then we're going to pre-drill with an eight in, eighth inch drill bit. Um, we're gonna probably anchor the, the corners first and screw those in and then everything else will go 
a lot easier. So, all right, let's see what we can do. So we have completed the installation of the corner modules for the System Super 2.5. It's a built-in Cyclorama system from ProPsych. Very easy to install. Uh, the next steps would basically be to mud the seams. Uh, three coats of mud. First coat with Durabon 90 mud. Sand it. And then second coat Durabon 90. Third coat of topping mud. And then basically you're going to primer and paint and you'll have a perfect cyclorama corner, perfect cyclorama studio, however big yours is. Obviously this is just a smaller representation of a larger studio, but all the principles and the steps are the same. Uh, our other built-in systems, the Super 3 EZ, um, things like that, will be very similar installation procedures. You're just going to have different measurement markings on the wall, so just refer to your instructions. But if you have any questions, make sure you uh, contact someone from ProPsych. We are help, happy to help you walk through any of the steps um, and refer to our website. We've got a lot of documentation, but we just want you to have the best system, the best installation possible. So I hope this was a help and good luck. <laughs>